Hey everyone, Stubzilla here, and this will be episode 4 of our Devil Nuggets My GM on NBA 2K15. Um, just in the scouting screen here, um, just apropos of the scouting results, we've um, yeah we've not really found anything. Um, as they came out 100%, we found out the potentials. I think the highest that we have was a D plus. It's not a foolproof way of scouting the episode before, or maybe the first or second episode I went through it. But um, I've set up some new prospects, and uh, yeah, hopefully we get something good this time around. But we're getting a new goal here. Um, uh, I'm not going to get rid of Kenneth Freed. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll answer all the phone calls. I mean, that's that's obvious. Um, but yeah, not getting rid of Kenneth Freed. That's someone who we um, build around, not not just bench or, or even trade. Sorry. We get into the sim here, uh, Bulls. So uh, the Bulls are quite near the top of the East, as I guess one would expect. Uh, we are tenth uh, in the West currently. I think Houston are just below us. Um, we've come out of nowhere to make this close. Uh, Bulls are pulled away <laughs> in the fourth though. Um, we almost got back into it there. Uh, there you go, three, 12 and 5, 3 turnovers, that sucks, but what can you do? Uh, MKG had a game off the bench, on the depot, but we have no scoring to support them. Again, Shepherds, doesn't it? Okay. So, Grizzlies, and then we've got two winnable games, one away, one at home, um, but you'd expect this Grizzlies game might not go. Uh, according to plan, uh, Ola Depot, man, that's a rough injury to take. That is a rough injury to take. Um, let's go, just these rotations. <laughs> well, okay, didn't want to have to do this this episode. Uh, Will Batten all. I'll obviously get subbed in for now. Uh, let me just put him down to 10 and then give him the. Just give him the minutes, I guess. Um, that to Gary Harris, give that to Jimmy Nelson, give a couple of minutes to Boozer, I suppose that's all we really can do. Okay, so that sucks that other people's out. Um, you know, I was, I, that immediately went through my head was to go and pick up Ray Allen. Um, I, d I don't see it. Um, not not on one year. Not with Oli Depot only being out for maybe two months or so. Um, yeah, again, we will, but we won't. I'm thinking about sort of a massive clear up with our um, with our coaching staff at the end of the year as well. Um, give more minutes to Gary Harris. They want to give more minutes to Harris and less to Barton. That probably could work for us. Uh, I'll have a look into it after this. <laughs> We're doing okay. We're holding our own in this game. It's it's always it's going to be close without on the depot, but we pulled away a little bit in that third quarter. Can we hold off? It looks like we might be able to hold on for this. This would be a very good win against Memphis because they're a good side. Um, yeah, okay, that's pretty damn cool. Uh, Eric Green having a big game. Uh, 18, two and nine with only two turnovers. Fareed 14 and eight. Markic 12 and nine. Barton had a pretty good game. Bruins are hips in. Harris didn't. Harris didn't do an awful lot. <laughs> yeah, I, think he, I don't think he's starting now. Um, let's just go back to. Yeah, so it should probably be Barton that gets the start, I guess. But do we give my minutes to Gary Harris? Yeah, let's just. Let's put them 24 and 20, that seems fine. Be, it seems as good idea as any to uh, get the young guys some minutes, so we might as well. Plus we've got a very winnable couple of games uh, coming up now, Timberwolves, Magic and then Kings. We should be able to put up a decent fight in these games, I reckon. Uh, let's go. We should be beating the Timberwolves. I say that now, I'd go and jinx it, but we, this is a team that we should be looking to get a victory over, regardless of us 
building this team up or what have you. We should be in a position to beat Minnesota at this point. Oh, like making a game of it. Damn. Okay. So Eric Green had a very good game again. Uh, good score and Jermaine Nelson had a good game. Three the game. He's having good games. Um, probably will. Ah, uh, but he shot for quite a high percentage. See that? That was well batting that time. <laughs> we didn't come through. Okay, that sucks to, to not get a win against the Timberwolves. And JJ Hicks now, he can't play at all. That sucks even more. Man, we're just being decimated right now with the injuries. Um, yeah, okay. Down to zero it is. <laughs> That's Mr. Joffrey, a few more minutes to Carlos. A couple more minutes to Kenneth, I guess. Man, this isn't good. We're racking up injuries at a time of year where we could do without them. Let's go, come on. So if we have those three guys in the lineup, I, I think we beat Minnesota, and I think we'd probably handle Orlando a bit better than what we have been doing in this game, but we kind of pulled away in the third a little bit there. We should be able to hold. No. Spoke too soon. That, we got very lucky. We got very, very lucky there. Um, let's just skip those for now. It looks like they're all going to be kind of play-related. Harris had a good game. Green almost had a double-double. Uh, Boozer. Good amount of rebounds from Boozer there. Like that. Like it seems out on his feet. It seems like we'll just get rid of all these messages because again I hate him. I hate him. Just sit there. Status. Tobias Harris did have a good game against the Vaughan team recently. Let's see if we can do this in action. That's kind of I don't know if. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. <laughs> about lowering the training intensity. I can't do it in air pitch. I already did it, in fact. I just have to get, get better. Or fitter, I guess. Um, who else? These practices are too easy once this guy's raising the intensity. I can't do it, but uh, sorry to say. Got a few days rest coming up, so hopefully Nurkic can. I can't give him any less minutes. Let's be fair. You know, he's playing what, like 25? I think he's getting a game on average right now. Can't possibly play him any less. He might be trade. Yeah. yeah. I don't particularly want to lose Nurkic, but Isaiah Rostid's out there in free agency, and he's got the badges and he's got everything that I kind of want in the centre and Nurkic just seems to be complaining and I might be able to get something back for him so let's, let's go and be controversial I'm not usually a fan of controversial trades but Nurkic is pushing my buttons right now I like the fact he's a, I like the fact he's gone on the boards and I like all of that but you annoy me Nurkic this is what happens Okay, so Henry Sims is out there, um, although he wants paying. John Henson. Wow, okay. Friendly, laid back, good shot blocker. We take Sacramento's first time picking up Nazir Mohammed. I guess for a season, I'll just release him straight away. Um, keep that in there. Keep that there, Kelly Atlantic. I know if anyone sees this now, Boston fan, they're probably going to want to make me do that. But I don't particularly want to do that trade. Kufus. Um, uh, it sounds like Doofus. <laughs> that doesn't bother me. But, uh, I'm going to go bare. I want 
there's one of that Houston pit that does the thing. That's... That's good. I do like Larry Sanders. The potential's there for him as well. It's, it's literally all there for him. He can be as good as he wants to be. That kind of annoys me as well. <laughs> Take Orlando's and get Kyle Quinn for New York's pick next year. There's some, there's some good stuff out there, I guess, but I mean, that made some crummy deals not too bad either. But it's just, I do, I do want to keep on that kitch, but it's just, it annoys me. Just keep going on. <laughs> I'm just cotton on that I'm not going to lower the training intensity. It's just not negotiable. Let's see how we go against Dallas. Okay, uh, someone's poisoned Dallas, I guess. Um, let's just try and keep it. Yeah. You see, games like this scare me because, yeah, that was, that was way too close. <laughs> it was way, way, way too close. Um, there's another two matches to go and deal with, but Harris, 30 points and 11 rebounds. That's the kind of games that we need from Harris. We need more games like that. 3, 10, and 6. Nurkic. If you could be knackered and get 11 boards a night, I'm quite happy. Then KG. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't give you the starting role that you want. <sighs> These people are just complain. So I'm stop complaining. <laughs> stop moaning. I got plans. Big plans. Too intense wearing out the players. Rest day. In fact, we've got two games. Rest day, back to back. Rest day, and practice, and rest day. <laughs> There's a few rest days coming up. Practices aren't a big concern for us at the moment. Hopefully, we can just keep some of the tank over these back to back stretches. Okay, um, I'll give you the report, I guess. Um, Okay, so it was Marcus Lee, Michael Qualls, Anthony Brown, Carlton Gordon, Enrique Rivera, Kevin Pandros, and Clark Pierce. They were the two, uh, two guys. They were the guys that were looking at this time around. Um, just two shooting guards, a center, a small forward, two point guards, a power forward. Uh, I wish you could just click to like, scout those same guys again. That would be good. Uh, Marcus Lee, Qualls. Brown, Carlos, Pierce, Carl Rivera, yeah, that works. I'm confident one of these guys is going to be, you know, hopefully around that sort of C plus, B minus potential, so a guy that we can pick up quite late. They might be quite low overall to start, but I'm feeling confident that one of these guys will turn out to be a bit of a sleeper. Speaking of sleeping, we've not really started all that well against Dallas here. Out for revenge, I think. We must have caught the nap in the first time out. Yeah, this is a bit of a blowout here. Yeah. Channel Parsons went off for 23. Bruiser Green. Yeah, we need players back from injury. It'd be good. It'd be very good to get everyone back from injury as soon as possible. That's the other thing as well, is that JJ was like maybe like one to two weeks, so he should be back by now. And there's no 
real reason he shouldn't be back. It's not just me, I don't think. It's... Seems like he's been out a while. Like our training staff should be doing better for him. Harris again had a good game. Nurkic no, had a good game. Green, Barton. Harris had an okay night. Vern had a good ish night. Limitless potential of where I can't, we just can't find a spot for him. The, the only thing I can think to do with this lineup is maybe to put Farid as the. I can't even remember. Can you put Farid as the center maybe? Wait, Farid the center. Move Harris to power forward. Move him to the four. Move MKG to the three. But then it's just offense, like, there's just way too much pressure on. I mean, I can try it for a game, I guess. Let's just... We've got a back-to-back -back coming up, so let me give it a couple of games. Let me just try and sort out this rotation here. Um, I think as you come to the left pitch. Go to that. This is a small ball <laughs> right here. Uh, Van. Stay at 14 minutes. Hickson's getting all right now, so maybe if we take Novak's minutes off. I like the way Levin's playing, so I think he'll be in for Novak for now on. Um, let's take him down to four. Let's move Hickson's minutes up. Alright, so a good boozer a few last minutes, so we put no pitch back up to 20. Yeah. We'll keep working it, we'll keep messing around with it, but let's just see how this goes. Because that's, that's quite a lot of defense on <laughs> I've got to say. There's a lot of defense going off there. Um, And who knows, like maybe, maybe he'll feel better about life, I don't know. Doesn't feel like we're pushing the guys hard enough at practice, it's super rested. Uh, I'm going to do nothing here, and for good reason, because if we're super rested, then I like that. We must win this, uh, I agree, but it's not going to happen. I know I can do a bit more. I probably should be doing a bit more, actually. Uh, Jenny is still injured-ish, I guess. But... It'll probably do better injured than Novak will healthy, so... <laughs> Let's see how we do against Golden State here. We're holding our own. We are holding our own against Golden State here. Can we just push in the fourth? Can we hold it off? Hey, hold on. Oh, that's a big win. That is a big, big win. Okay. MKG with 12 rebounds. Ancient the box score today. Oh, here we go. Um, 11 and 12, so a double double for MKG. Free had 19 and 7. Harris had 23 and 4. With two blocks. Free had four blocks. Maybe this is us. Maybe this is our team. deny you that but I hope you get happier now because I'm gonna give this a go JJ's healthy so this is all good this is all good stuff that's happening at the right time for us now just hope that we can kind of continue this when we get to the end of January with a few more wins, 
obviously against the Spurs it's going to be a big ask, but we did well against Golden State, so the bar has been set. And they've set it for themselves as well, so come on. Scrap. Scrap for this win. Scrap for this win. Ah. Oh. Ah, okay. But again, that's... Three to five turnovers, Eric Green, five turnovers. Like that's where that's where this game's been lost. I can take that because that's stuff that we can eventually fix and will get fixed. But uh, it's still a bit of a heartbreaker. We should have that should have been closer. We should have won, in fairness, I think. Okie dokie, so Okay, see, it approached us with this trade. Now, I don't know too much about Jeremy Lamb. They approached us with that. Now, if there was a point, I'd snap, I'd probably snap the hand off, but it's not. And Jameer is doing well for us. I don't really want to mess up the chemistry right now either. We're I'll, I'll double check it at the end of the episode, but I think we, we might be positioning ourselves for a, maybe a maybe a late push for an ape suit. That's the only hope that we have got to make the playoffs if we've got any. Oh, man, if we've got any hope, we need to be beating Boston. Let me just let me just be blunt. We need to get a win here. It's particularly after that disappointing loss against San Antonio, we had a couple of days rest as well. We need to be, we need to be working to get a win here. That's good. That's good. Green, sixteen and seven on two turnovers. Three Harris and Harris. They had big games. Yeah, that's pretty good all around. It's pretty good all around there. What's Carlos Boozer moaning about being overworked at training? You're only here till the end of the season. Denying Coddle. You're not here for that long, Carlos. Don't worry about it, son. Let's get these notifications. Where are we at? 20 minutes. Okay. It's hard, it's like, I feel like I want to make a change, like, I feel like I want to make, like, do something to shake it up, but at the same time, we're going quite well, so it's, it's difficult to justify. Let's just see where we're at uh, in terms of injuries. When I find injuries again, injury report, of course. Um, completely forgot what team we are. <laughs> uh, Danbury, here we go. Okay, so Keller Marsh is saying two to four months. It's already deep, but it's still saying four to six weeks. Uh, so he's definitely the higher end of that four to eight week estimate. Um, I just want to uh, have a look at our staff here and see. See, our trainer's good, so... It's... it's a mystery. It is a mystery. Uh, what's the... Yeah, it's... It's a mystery, I guess. Um... Man, that's a bad contract. <laughs> rejuvenator. I don't want a rejuvenator. I need a guy to teach young guys. Uh. Oh, well, what can you do? Uh, let's just get this. Um, we've got five minutes to get the rest of the month out of the way. It's probably going to be a bit longer than that because there's what six games. Jamie gets clogged. 
Who knew? Uh, it's a Washington. John Wall, etc. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Put a run together, just put a run together. Make it close, make it close. There you go, there you go. Squeeze that way. And okay, so owner trust, player loyalty, GM trust. Price changes, uh, the speedy recovery. <laughs> um, apt, very apt. We need that right now. See, the chemistry's going up, the fan interest is going up. We're a franchise on the up and up. Three, 22 points, nine boards, KG, that's. Yeah, he needs to be playing now. I think what we've got going on here needs to be the way that we stay. Just a small change, but it seems to have worked. We've kind of just sort of fallen into it thanks to um, thanks to the injury situation, just trying to find a solution. But um, of course, it's not going to be perfect, particularly when you come up against a team as good as the Clippers. But you know, West v West. We'll... Again, we're, we're keeping it close though. Uh, kind of pulling away now, I guess, but. We're keeping teams close, we're keeping teams like within our sights and that's that's always good to see Freed again with a double double MKG. This is good good figures all around man. I'm liking it. The rest of them the Pelicans. I like the I like the I like the thought of being like a kind of defense heavy hard working team as well. It's kind of old school. I like it. Blue collar, Midwest kind of ball, you know. Ah oh, man, the heat is out. That sucks. Uh, Harris had a good game. Fury had a good game, I guess. We just couldn't get enough offense going. Drew Holiday had a good game, Terry Kevin's had a good game for the job. High scoring games, Anthony Davis. Man, he's good. He's very good. Okay, so we'll do Memphis, we'll do Charlotte, and then we will um we'll close the video off there with a look at the standings. See the games are close and like this would be the thing with us is that we would either just get blown out or we would blow teams out like we'd have a click offensively or we wouldn't but here we seem to be getting a bit of consistency with regards to how um, how close games are and we just need like little bits like like for instance Hickson getting 13 Jermaine Nelson getting 15 you know, we need little things like that to start going our way. But what we can't have is Boozer playing 16 minutes, only getting a point. Gary Harris playing 20 minutes, not getting anything. He got a few boards, he got a few assists, and he got two steals. That's fine, but he needs to score as well, you know? So it's not perfect, but given where we're at right now. Victor, I don't know what you want from me, man. Really don't. You're injured as well, like, come on. Like, how can you be having any say from the treatment room? Two or four weeks. I think it's just playing with him. I think if he's, if he's playing, then it's easy for to keep him happy and and indeed I do need him happy for when he is playing so I'm going to have to burn a um, I have to burn one of these on him 
In fact, I'll, I'll burn a pump up. I'll give him a little encourage. There you go. I'll give him that for now, and then when he's actually back and ready to play, I'll give him a pump up, get him to 100 morale, and then we'll see what we do from there. Uh, but this will be the last game of this episode against Charlotte. Come on, this is ending on a positive. We, we did well to get E. Carlton to win in the last game, but just want to end this episode on a positive. It's been a bit of a mixed bag this episode. It's been, it's been more good than bad, I will say that, but. Ah, it doesn't look like we can end strong. Ah, that sucks. Green again, have a good game. Well, oh, five turnovers now. I'll take three, but for some reason I won't take five. Harris had a good game though. That is a good game from Harris. Uh, both of them, Gary Antwerp, three, seven, and eight. And then GG, seven, and five. Now, again, it's just that offensive consistency that we can't seem to we can't seem to do it right now. But um, let's just end this episode quickly on a check of the standings. Check the conference here. We've moved nowhere. <laughs> We've gained nothing. Um, Portland, San Antonio. It seems to be the teams to try and catch. Golden State, Clippers, Mavericks, Thunder, Phoenix, and Memphis. And then it's Houston and us. And Sacramento aren't too far behind us. And even New Orleans as well. So it's quite close. Um, Memphis is the team to try and catch the four games back from them. So it's going to be a scrap to see if we can get into the playoffs. It looks like it's going to be a high lottery pick though. Oh, sorry, or a low lottery pick, I guess you could say. That's just a quick brief in the East. New York still sucking as per Cleveland. kind of moving away with it out there. They're four and a half games in front of Chicago, six and a half in front of the Raptors. So, uh, yeah, it's... Playoffs, playoff stream is fading, um, but we got hope. We've got hope. Um, anyway, I'm going to do this episode here, guys. Um, again, thank you for um, those who have viewed uh, episodes one, two, and three. Uh, if you have anything to say on this series, by all means, please leave a comment. I do reply to all comments, or at least I try my damn this too. Um, <laughs> uh, this video will be going up in the usual places um, if you can leave it a like as well if you like this video uh, if you did and you want to see more of them then please click the subscribe button as well that'd be much appreciated but I'm going to leave this video here guys and uh, thanks very much for your time I'll see you guys soon